Nothing could be cooler than magnets. Nothing. They defy gravity. And they defy you. Somehow, people's intelligence just seems to drop when magnets come around. They won't go together. Watch this. Oh, come on, you can do it. I meant to do that. Come on, get together. Oh, wait, not that side. Yeah, let's not use this part. But get yourself some really powerful magnets and a little electricity, and you can really kick it up a notch. When I say powerful, I mean really powerful. Specifically, rare earth magnets. This is a roll of neodymium iron boron magnets, or NIBs. It's one of the strongest magnetic materials available at room temperature. So if you want to get something more powerful, you have to start super cooling things. That's just not in the scope of our Christmas project. See, these ship with spacers, because they're really hard to get apart. Ah. This is not an exaggeration, it's really hard. If you let them go like this, ow, they'll pinch your fingers. Magnets are cool, almost mystical the way they can attract and repel each other. And some people take that to an extreme. I'm healing myself with the magnetic energy. So why do you need them so powerful? Because the stuff we're going to show you won't work with your ordinary sissy magnets from home. They're pretty much impossible to find at your local store. Your best bet's going to be to get them online. While you're waiting for them to come in the mail, pick up some solid copper wire between 12 and 20 gauge and a few AA batteries. Now we're talking. Put a couple of magnets on one end of the battery, Connect the poles and you get a mini motor. Actually, it's called a homopolar motor. He's going the right direction, but if you flip the magnets, he'll go the opposite direction. It wasn't really designed for that though. You have to balance it just right or it'll go spinning off. Also, smaller, lighter wires can go faster. I could watch that all day, but I won't. Why? Because it's time for the roller derby! Put a couple of magnets on the end of each battery and make sure the polarity's opposite. If it doesn't work at first, flip the magnets to reverse the polarity. And if that doesn't work, try it on the other side. Seriously, there's only four combinations. I think you can get it right. Now get some wire, strip the plastic off the end, and make the metal part into a hook. Rest it on the magnets, and it's go time! You can offset the batteries, and now he's got a limp. I think you can see why this will be the coolest Christmas project ever. Look at him go! What? Not Christmassy enough for you? You can use festive colors like red and white. Paint your battery to look like a candy cane. Do whatever it takes. Just to prove this table isn't slanted, we'll go both directions. Okay, maybe it's a little slanted. But he is going. <laughs> Not exactly a speed demon, but it's a really cool, really simple little motor. And the kids can't electrocute themselves playing with it. You need bigger batteries for that. Maybe next year, if you're good. Yeah, next year we'll be using these in a motorcycle battery. 120 pound pull strength. Wow.